How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Don't mind the Crocs, it's kind of a chill day. I'm packing up for our little Oaxaca trip we're gonna be doing in a couple days. We're actually gonna be joining our friends at Oaxaca Bike Expeditions for a, a nice four day bike trip. So with that being said, I actually have to pack up my SB150 into a bike bag and actually opted off for the DB brand. Uh, Chewy actually hooked it up with this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of me putting the bike into the bag. Yo, let's go ahead and unroll this first. Uh, it has these little like straps on it. It's just for storage. You just kind of unhook them and then on the other side, right here, we have a little pouch where these straps kind of go in there. So we'll stuff this in right now for storage so that way I don't forget. It comes with a nice little Velcro strap that closes up and keeps them nice and tidy. And then it kind of just, just opens up, rolls out, and then it has the stuff inside. We have a crossbar. We have the stanchion protector and this actually all kind of clips in there. You see I can pop this out. So it has like a, has little clips on there that hook into the rail inside of it. So this is for the stanchions. This one I believe is for roadies. So they can take off their handlebars and you set it on top, over the top tube. And then we have another piece right here. This is for the bottom bracket and you kind of build the bike outside the bag and then you kind of pop it in there. And then we have another padded like little thing. It's for the, uh, for the handlebars. And we'll show you that a little later on. The cool thing is that they have the instructions included on the bag. This is not going to go anywhere. Steps by steps and what to do to your bike so you can stuff it in here with no issues. It has a nice little pedal compartment here. So you've got to take off the pedals, set it in there. Um, it has pouches for the wheels. Rotor goes inside, it has a nice little protective hard plastic so that way you know it protects your rotors hopefully it keeps them from bending looks like you're gonna be facing the rotors in towards the bag um, on the other side it has another pouch for the other side of, or the other wheel and uh, other than that it has nice little carrying handles and stuff like that so yeah let's uh, go ahead and start uh, building this out and go from there okay so here we go let's start a little adventure here uh, looks like we're gonna strip down the bike pretty straightforward Take off the wheels, take off the pedals, drop the dropper post down, unhook the handlebars. So I think my plan of attack right now is gonna to be to take off the wheels and the pedals. So that way I can mount the bottom bracket thing on there and the stanchion protector. So that way the bike kind of stands on itself. And then I can work on the handlebars after. Okay, so here we go, the pedals are out. As you guys can see, I'm rocking some new pedals now. These are the Remtech magnetic pedals. These are very nice, video coming soon. I'm gonna go ahead and opt out and take off the chain. I'm gonna go ahead and store that. I don't wanna have it just hanging around in the bike bag and then risk it twisting or something or getting damaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, chain. This is completely optional, it's up to you. And I probably will be taking off, or at least I'm bolting the uh, derailleur as well and try to have it protected with something like a rag or something like that. Make sure that you don't lose the quick link like I just did right now. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff this into a nice Ziploc bag. Okay, so the wheels are off. We're making some progress here. I put back the, um, the skewers on there just so I won't lose them, front and back. And now what you have to do, you have to wedge something between your brake pads just in case, I don't know, the bike gets thrown around and then it kind of hits the lever. It will avoid your pistons coming out too far or messing up your, your brake calibration. So I actually have little spacers for the Maguru brakes that kind of stick in there. Let me see if I can do this with the camera. Kind of goes through. There you go. And that should keep my pads from closing up during travel. I actually have two of these only. And to show you that I don't have, oh, you don't have to use these specific ones. And for the back, I'm just stuffing some nice cardboard in there. I don't know if you can see, just stuffed it in there, folded this piece in half and shoved it in there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So I do two pieces cause I have four uh, pads and two individual spaces for the, uh, the brake pads. All right, so let's go ahead and put on our little stanchion protector. That's a nice little flap that opens up. 
I'm gonna slide that over, tuck it in, and clip it in now so the flap keeps stays closed during flight. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put on our bottom bracket one. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna set this down on that little pad, just like so. The uh, chain, the front chain ring and the bashed guard goes to the right side of it. Just sits on there like a nice little pillow. Uh, I'm gonna be grabbing some microfiber cloths just to keep, you know, frame rub at the minimal or at the minimum. And then come around. Nice little straps right here. Clip it in. Cinch it down. And then it has like little clips on there. I'll hold it in place. I'm actually going go through here on this one. There you go. Lift it a little bit open so I can cinch it. So I want to go ahead and show you some nice little feature that they added. They added these little Velcro straps on here so that way you can keep all the uh, long pieces out of the way. Just keep it nice and neat. Okay, we got the backpack out. We gotta build it halfway, halfway up. These things have little bungee cords in there so you don't lose them. It's in there. Just wanna do half so that we have space to drop the bike in. And then I'm gonna try to go as forward as I can on the front. Work it in there. It goes nice and lined up. See how much forward I can go on this. Go a little more forward. And then it just kind of clips down there. And back too. Okay, so I did this ahead of time. Kind of put some blue tape here to help me align my stem over when I get to Oaxaca. Um, I went ahead and did the blue on each side, you know, so it's visible and I can keep it centered and also marked up where the little lines go right here of the clamp. So that way I know what my sweep is gonna be or whatever you call it, but I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then it could be pretty straightforward to slapping it back on. And after you take it off, you wanna put back the clamp and the bolts so that way you don't lose them. Put the handlebars in. So you just kind of like stuff it in there. There's a little pocket right here without pressing the brakes or anything like that. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot to do it. Drop the dropper post down before you tuck in the handlebars. That way you get that out of the way too. There you go. Stuff in the handlebar now. So shove it in there like so. And then the other side has a little clip. They're going to be clipping in here. In the back has a strap that runs up. Clip that down. Put a little yellow rag on there for the rubbing. There's another clip on this side as well. Snug that down a little bit. And there we go. So I'm running into a little clearance issues over here in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my derailleur now. It goes off. Move it out of the way bike back down so I think I'm gonna be wrapping this with a nice microfiber cloth and then just tucking it in there Let's see actually no it fits in there pretty good I think we're good just gonna have it hanging in there okay so now it's time to build the top frame up pop the little suckers on there there we go Pop it in there. There we go. All right, so now we gotta strap it up over here. Just bring it around. Put some slight tension on it. I don't think you need much. Just to hold the bike frame in place for the contact point. I forgot to do that to the back. I have to do that right now a little bit. Protect your investment, people. Cinch that down. 
clip it. Okay, so now moving on to the wheels. The wheels are off, as you can see. Um, so I guess some airlines ask you to take the air out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe because like the uh, the luggage cabin is not pressurized maybe. So it might cause the wheels or the tires to pop. Oh, there's a little bit of ceiling coming out of that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our pedals inside the little pouch. Close that up. You said there's a hard plastic in there where the rotor kind of sits. It protects it from getting bent or beat up. And it has it on the other side too to protect the cassette. So you're gonna lift this up, tuck it in there best as you can. Uh, you always wanna do a clearance check. It looks like it clears the body pretty good. Should not have any issues at all. That's a little clips on here. Gonna clip that down and cinch it. So this is a nice little touch too. Um, gives you little like straps to pull on to bring it over to the frame. So that way you can put it in there pretty good, like that. Make it sit flush on the corner. And do the same thing on this side as well. Pull on the strap, bring it over. That one's easier. So okay, for the most part, it's pretty much done. I just gotta put the wheel on and close it up. Um, so this is a good time to talk about maybe stuffing your helmet. You put your helmet there, your knee pads, your shoes down there somewhere kind of like you know pretty much stuff it in there so that we can have more protection and on top of that you can have another way to store stuff it looks like you put this guy down a little more um but yeah depending on the airline you go to i heard there's some airlines that they just charge you like a bike bag and it doesn't matter how much it weighs this bike is a little bit on the heavy side but as you can see it's really protected because of the frame it's kind of basically has like a roll bar in there so you know it kind of protects your bike Depends on how you want to go. Um, I want to protect my investment, so this definitely helps out. And also helped out that Chewy hooked it up. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the wheel on and close it. Uh, but that is an option to stuff things in there, you know? And as you stuff in there, uh, Shadow actually did this. If you have elbow pads or knee pads that kind of wrap around, you can pretty much wrap your bike for more protection. Um, you know, use whatever you have to put protection and at the same time pack it up, you know? Kind of be efficient with it. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We're all packed up, ready to go. This all looks from the outside. Um, here we go. The zippers are really high quality. It was uh, zipped up pretty good. It feels solid. It does have a little hole in case you want to lock it up. We might do that or slap on a zip tie. One of those two. Here it looks on the outside. It has wheels in the front and back. The back ones are fixed and the front ones swivel when they want to. No, I'm just kidding. They do swivel. Pretty good. They they're smooth, really smooth. You can choose to roll it like that. Got some nice straps up here to hold it. Uh, it has a nice little pocket, so that way you can put, pick it up, you know, when you want to load it on and off your truck or car. Um, what else does it have? It has these things, but I think this is for like an extra accessory where you could put your backpack on the side. It has a nice little handle right here in case you want to roll it like this. And like I said, it has those little straps tucked in here. Let me go ahead and tuck it in really good. Close it up for storage and that looks like it's pretty much it so there you go guys this is me packing up my bike for the first time going on a trip with the fellas stay tuned for those videos coming up Oaxaca four day bike trip big shout out to the homies that have supported me throughout the years you know all good Oaxaca bike that's where we're going rev grips rim packs stem caps and spoke eggs. all those guys have helped me out one way or another and appreciate that but uh, yeah if you guys have any questions about the bag or anything else go ahead and leave them in the comments and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos on the Oaxaca trip